I don't understand. He used his shackles on those um, people trying to fuck with a cat and dog. I don't know why he can't use them here. Nona is trembling with fear, but she still remains in front of Eleven. Though as she doesn't say a word, she stands her ground. Do you want the people by your side, the people who love you, to get hurt? <laughs> He's still doing his manipulation. I mean, I, I'm guessing our chief got so tired of getting manipulated every single event. He was like, fuck this, I gotta manipulate myself. <laughs> Under your gaze, Eleven mutters the courage to step forward and take the owner's hand. She bites her lips so hard that she almost draw blood. The owner tightly grips her hand as if trying to share her own strength and courage. Uh, I won't let you do this. Uh, you're not welcome here. Get out! The act of refusal roars out like a thunder. You can almost see sound waves emitted from under Eleven's feet. Shelves, records, even people are affected by Elvin's power fall to the ground one after another. Suddenly, the entire record store is filled with cries of pain. Is this the power to change the world? How? How can this be? What? What did you do? The ring leaders see things spiraling out of control, run out one after another. The owner keeps holding Elvin's hand for some reason. You feel a sense of relief from her. Now, while cracking the world means that this world is about to collapse. Which did happen in Ruleka's case. 1923. Collapsing world as Eleven stands up for herself with great determination. The world starts to collapse. You need to escape from here as soon as possible. Is this event actually coming to an end? This must be a really small event. The entire space seems to have frozen. The customers who ran out and the owner in the store are frozen in place like statues unable to move. Eleven shook everything up after uttering that refusal in her own voice and everything in the end fell back into silence. But you know that something is on the brink of derangement, you must get out of here right now. You feel the force that has been restraining you suddenly vanish. You quickly pull Eleven, Nino and Eleven towards the exit. Eleven was indeed the key to crack in this world, but now the world is collapsing. We must find a place to escape or hide from the waves of derangement. As you speak, you see the wall behind the record store beginning to simply display eerie signal failures and accompanied by a cracking, crackling static, these anomalies gradually cover the entire wall. Holy shit! It's really starting! You're running out of time. <laughs> Who's there? A shrill laugh suddenly rings out around you. The familiar tone makes Eleven instinctively grip your sleeve tightly. You look towards the source of the sound. It's the owner's radio. Uh, it's very close. I can hear the voice I've been seeking for a long time. It's my favorite sound. You finally found your own voice. Are you happy? But do you really know how to use it? He has spoken already, so surely she will remember. Don't think about controlling her. Don't jump to conclusions. Allow me to congratulate you first for successfully leaving this world. But it's not enough. Can you find more? You will help me find them. You're different from the rest more you never intended to let us go back did you come remember where you started your journey i will personally come to see you the familiar voice disappears and record stores uh record players indicator light goes out the outrage spreads instantly before your eyes get out first hurry can we take the owner with us she is part of this world. I don't know if taking her is the right thing for either of us or her. In my opinion, we should prioritize the safety of us three. Eleven is there time to read all that? Eleven glances at you, then at the owner who is still in the store and types rapidly on her device. Thank you. When this is all over, I will definitely come to see you. This time I will keep my word. Uh, uh. 
After Eleven utters the only sound she can make, she turns around to catch up to you. Zigzagging sound waves appear from underneath her feet the moment she speaks again. Wrap around the record store owner and vanish into thin air. Thank you, and also, I'm sorry. But I'll always remember why you chose this path. Please don't forget what you've loved in the first place. The sound of call at 3 a.m. Devin looks back again, but she can no longer find the source of the voice. Wait, where are we going? Are we just running out randomly? That's what I was thinking, to the phone booth on the 5th Avenue. Oh right, that's where he entered. That's what she said as well. Hmm. Maps victory. Let's look at this. Sonic boom and box emitting irritating noises blocks your path. Uses the tremble horns. Oh, for fuck's sake, this thing. Let's see if I can do this. So once I start, I will go up, go left, and go down. I can take care of two of these things. And I'm gonna do one of these using that conveyor belt. Alright. Hey, what the hell? Let me do what the fuck? Really? There you go. There you go. Oh, do I have to wait for the whole thing? I thought I would just be clever and do this faster. Okay. There it goes. No, not yet. I'm gonna do this one first. There goes that. There goes that. And then we'll just push this one in there. No, what the... I pressed the wrong thing. Whatever. It's fine. I'll just have to wait a bit and waste time. Mine and yours. Yeah. You're sitting here. You're gonna be wasting your time just like me. I'm not gonna let you just go away. Okay. Good. What is this? Uh, Reckless gateway. The streets you find yourself in a world. Yeah, yeah. Find a pattern of this world to discover a way out. We already know this. You and Eleven Nino rush out of the record store together. The entire world distorts and wraps around you like a waveform twisted by an external force. The record store flickers and pulses behind you like a distorted image suffering from signal interference and it suddenly disappears. You know what this this fucking thing it reminds me? Because she said like, oh, we will send you like to another place to do another event for us. This reminds me of like, uh, the returner's magic should be special. I did review that manga at one point and... Uh, that uh, that world also has shadow walls where you can go and you have to like fulfill the conditions of the shadow world or whatnot. That was pretty cool. Then it suddenly disappears. The three of you dodge the objects falling from the sky and run desperately along the rugged, distorted road. In the phone booth, the streets you find yourself in is a world severely corrupted by mania. Perhaps you should take a look around and find the pattern of the world to discover a way out. The glow of the phone booth is right in front of you. At the last moment, the three of you squeeze into the narrow space. Inside this tiny shelter, you clearly feel each other's breaths, heartbeat and body heat. Ooh. The world outside has become an unfathomable darkness that is irreversibly falling apart. My my, how hot. By tapping this, you confirm you'll not be able to go back to the current map again. Are you sure you want to teleport? I mean, we're kind of done. I'll, I'll take a look at this actually first. Yeah, that's look at the legs it's 11 look at the jacket too mysterious voices pulling the strings and playing the mastermind of this mania event are using the sound emitted from radios and telephones to control people's consciousness i mean this is not new in the last event we found out that shalom actually is just like none does not have any emotions but her emotional side did exist so sinners can have two people which is like kind of brutal that her sinner side was transformed into a fucking monster or whatever but still. The mysterious voice is pulling the strings and playing the mastermind of this main game and using the sounds emitted by radios and telephones to control the people's consciousness. The mastermind is using the sound to assimilate the victim's thoughts, rebellious and defined words are key to resisting the assimilation. Do you miss me? <sighs> Do you want to hear the voice of the ghost on the phone? <sighs> I'm here, right by your side if you want to hear my voice just call my number i'll 
be waiting for you. My number 